Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Trends Tech. And today we're gonna to talk about why can you not screen record in 4K on the Apple Vision Pro? But wait, you actually can, but we're gonna go ahead and talk about a whole bunch of like complications and testing and all that stuff with that. But you would think that for a headset that costs $3,500, that screen recording in 4K would be okay, right? You know, it's got the M2 chip, it's got the R1 chip, it's got fans inside of it, it's got, I believe to be an aluminum metal housing and vents and all that other jazz and whatnot. You can do immersive experiences and fully surround yourself and hand tracking and all these cameras and all this stuff, right? You know, super engineered product but you can't screen record in 4K. So what's the backstory behind this? If you have a Vision Pro, or if you've seen any of these Vision Pros, when you go to screen record on these and record your screen, inside of the Vision Pro, it will spit out a file that is 1080p, 30 frames per second, and that's it. I believe at one point it was at 720p, but now it's at 1080. And to be honest, these 1080p clips look okay, until you upload them to any sort of social media platform and they just absolutely get wrecked. <laughs> it's just it's just really bad. They look very low quality. A lot of the details are missing. You see a lot of banding in like the sky and the environments and whatnot. So it just makes like the Vision Pro look like it has a bad rap. It's like, why would you pay thirty five hundred dollars for it to look like this? The fact is it actually looks better than that. It looks way better. The experience is so much better, but I can't share that because I am limited to 1080p. Now, I did mention a part where you could actually record in 4K, but there's a process. And I think with all the testing, everything I found out, the reason why Apple doesn't want you to record in 4K on the Vision Pro is that apparently it makes the Vision Pro too hot. So how can you record in 4k on the apple vision pro well you're going to need a few things one you're going to need a vision pro two you're going to need an m1 mac so m1 mac mini m1 well actually you would need the m series because of the next reason the next reason is you would need xcode so if you are on the regular os version of vision os you're going to need xcode the regular version if you are on the beta version of vision os you're gonna need the beta version of Xcode. Now, why do you need Xcode? <laughs> well, you actually need Xcode because you need to have access to Reality Composer Pro. So once you install Xcode and do all that stuff, have Xcode and Reality Composer Pro. That way you can record the screen on the Vision Pro. But you also have to take your Vision Pro and you have to enable developer mode. So you'll have to go into settings, and you have to go down to like, you know, privacy and all that stuff and go all the way down to the bottom and say, hey, I want to turn on developer mode. And then once your Vision Pro restarts and starts back up, and then you have the whole little message that says you're in the developer version, you then have to remotely connect your Vision Pro to your Mac. But once you do get it connected and you have your Vision Pro connected to your Mac, which they both have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So if you don't have Wi-Fi, this probably isn't gonna work. You have a um, Reality Composer Pro open, and then you basically can view like the device. Once you're in it and you're connected to your Vision Pro, you can record in 4K on your Vision Pro, and it's kind of like a, like a wireless remote. So it records the stuff on the Vision Pro, and then once it's done, it will transfer it over to the Mac in the filing system and save it somewhere. Now, that is a lot of steps just to get a 4K clip, but I'm a bit of a video nerd and a tech nerd, so I, I would be willing to do that. I would be willing to do that to get 4K footage that I can use for YouTube videos and show this product looks a lot better than advertised, right? However, <laughs> Apple, will, oh, Apple will limit you to only recording for one minute. And the other thing is, is like you have to be really on the dime because like, let's say you're setting up your Vision Pro and your Mac and everything else like that. And you go to say, hey, I'm ready to record. Well, you have a one minute timer to hit the button to record for one minute. If you don't, then it spits an error message out at you and says, well, hey, you have to do this within a minute if you really want to do this. So I tested it out. I recorded a one minute clip and I'm like, okay, 
Maybe I could just go ahead and record a bunch of one minute clips as ridiculous as that sounds and how much out of the way that is for me because I really like convenience. I do it. I'm a nerd. I don't care. Well, the problem is this. I recorded a one minute clip and once it got done recording, I went to go say, hey, record again. I got a notification saying that I have to wait for the Vision Pro to cool down. It didn't give me a timer. It didn't say how long it was going to take. It's just like waiting for it to cool down, waiting for it to cool down. So I tested this about two or three more times. I tested this while I was in AR and I tested this while I was in, you know, like the uh, immersive experience or whatnot. And I have no way of telling you exactly when this thing's going to cool down. Sometimes it could take one minute to cool down. Sometimes it could take five minutes for it to cool down. And what's really weird about it is it's like, okay, you're going to record a one minute clip and have anywhere between a one to five minute cool down. You realize how much of a strain that kind of puts on trying to do anything. And then obviously with the vision pro, you only have like a two hour battery life. So you got to make sure like you're plugged in, you got to make sure your Mac is plugged in and ready to go. And all these other things, just so you can get a four click 4k clip and it may or may not be reliable. Now, with all that said, the 4K footage that you can get by doing this looks so much better than the 1080p footage. It is night and day difference. I don't know what it is, but I think maybe the uh, 1080p footage that's recorded on the Vision Pro is probably not even 10-bit. I think it's like 8-bit. That's why you'll see like a lot of banding and stuff in the skies and it'll be really low quality and stuff like that. Whereas the 4K recorded version of it, I have to go back and look at the metadata again, but I think that's 10 bit because that looks perfectly good to me. So yeah, we kind of need a way to capture, you know, the screen recordings at least better on the Vision Pro. I don't know if there has to be an app developed. I don't know if Apple needs to lift some of the restrictions or if Apple just needs to flat out improve the cooling on this or the efficiency or whatever because yeah now that i've seen i've seen the light i've seen 4k on the vision pro i want it give it to me i i want the 4k screen recordings that way i can like i said show this to everybody else and it doesn't look so ridiculous every time i upload i am tired of taking 1080p footage and upscaling it to 4k and it still doesn't even look that good like when you upscale it to 4K, it's like, ah, it's all right. But when you see like the direct 4K capture screen off of this into the Mac, it is night and day better. It is so much more awesome. So yeah, long story short, that's why Apple has you record in 1080p, 30 frames per second clips. Also your screenshots are in 1080p, but I think on the Mac you can get a 4K screenshot. So that's why they look so much better. But yeah, that's why Apple does that because the Vision Pro gets too hot or I guess it can't cool down fast enough. So Apple says, no, 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 you're not going to record in 4K. You're going to record in 1080p. But if you have a Vision Pro and an Apple Silicon Mac and <laughs> Xcode and some patience and some time, you can possibly get a one minute 4K clip every one minute to five minutes or however long it takes for this thing to shut down so yeah um sorry you guys for the long drawn out rant but that's about all the information i could find if you guys do have any comments or anything else that you want to add to the conversation go ahead and put it down into the comment section below and yeah uh i guess we'll see what happens in the future with uh vision pro i don't know if this is something that's just going to be a hardware limitation or if Apple is just trying to be 100% super safe with this thing. So, all right, y'all, take it easy. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.